Hey everyone, this is Ryan at RunBiz. Welcome to Web Tip Wednesday. Today we're going to be comparing two of the most popular web browsers to see which one wins in the area of privacy. As you may know, privacy is a hot topic right now, which has just been fueled by the popularity of documentaries like The Social Dilemma and The Great Hack, which bring up some valid points about data privacy and knowing how your data is being used. There's a variety of reasons to care about how cookies and trackers keep tabs on all of your web activity. One of the most compelling reasons for me personally came from learning how different platforms were using my data to figure out how to keep me in front of my screen and engaged on their apps. So whether you're making an effort to lower your screen time or fight that social media addiction, or you just genuinely get a little bit creeped out by knowing that everything you do online is being tracked in some way, being savvy about data privacy will serve you well. Before I get started, I think it's important to note that cookies are not inherently bad. Sometimes they make our user experience very convenient, just like they were designed to do. Uh, so don't hear me saying that you need to go set your browsers to total lockdown mode and block everything because that might not actually be what you want. This is a personal subjective decision for you to make based on what you value. Uh, but back to the task at hand. Today we're comparing privacy features in Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Both of these browsers are secure and they do a great job of warning you if you attempt to navigate towards dangerous websites or download bad files. Um, also, they both include a thing called sandboxing, which keeps other parts of your computer safe if you do happen to go to a bad site. But once we get into privacy, one starts to outweigh the other. So here are a couple of features to consider. Private browsing. So both browsers include private browsing options, which ensure that any search records, cookies, or browsing history will not be retained or available to other users on that device. Google Chrome calls this incognito, while Firefox just refers to it as private browsing. Firefox also has a separate app called Firefox Focus, which is a browser that's permanently set to this private browsing mode. But the next feature is what sets Firefox apart in the area of privacy, and that is Enhanced Tracking Protection, or ETP. This is a relatively new feature that was released as a default setting for all Firefox users across the globe. ETP blocks thousands of trackers from major social media platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, among other types of trackers. That being said, by default, Firefox is a great browser for those who are concerned with privacy, and that's without going in and adjusting any settings in the browser. That in itself points to the high value that Mozilla Firefox as a company places on privacy. Google Chrome's argument for the larger amount of data that they collect is that they're doing this to enhance the user experience and improve their services. And that is true, they really do create a seamless and convenient web browsing experience for consumers. If that convenience outweighs your data privacy concerns, then Chrome is a great way to go. However, if you're looking for more control over how your data is tracked and being used, Firefox might be for you. That's it for this week. I hope this has been helpful. For more information and more web tips, you can visit run.biz and head to the RunBiz U section. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for notifications anytime new web tips are posted. Thanks for watching and have a great week.